Hi, I'm Lisa Vogt. Welcome to my home and my garden. When I'm not cutting glass, I'm out here enjoying being outside and all these beautiful, breathtaking flowers. When I am in the studio, I like to make things that I enjoy. So I like to work with different subject matters, like flowers, that make me happy. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to make this beautiful plate. When making a lot of repetitive shapes, I like to cut a paper pattern. Then I trace that pattern shape on the glass with a black marker. The nice thing about these flowers and leaves is that they're organic shapes, so it's okay if each one is slightly different from the other. I'm gonna use the black line as a guide and cut the glass. When tracing the pattern on the glass, I made sure that I was running my design along with the grain of the glass so that my leaves would have a nice linear quality that ran the length of them, and my flower petals would also have a nice linear quality to the pattern. It's the attention of detail like this that really makes your pieces stand out and increases the quality of the overall finished artwork. Each of these flower petals and leaf pieces will be made up of two pieces of glass. There will be a clear base and then a colored cap. These curvy shapes tend to come out a little bit rough. So I'm using the grinder to smooth out the edge and improve the overall shape of the individual pieces. Now I'm gonna load the flower petals and leaves into the kiln and fire these to a full fuse temperature. Carefully laying the pieces on the shelf enables me to fit more glass in the kiln. And who doesn't love a full kiln shelf? Here are the pieces after they've been fired. Look at the nice rounded edge we have there and the beautiful shine. Here's a leaf. This tray is a great way to transport a lot of pieces. You just kind of lay them on there and then you know move them around the studio very quickly and easily. Now I'm going to lay the flowers out on another kiln shelf and we're going to tack fuse these together. So here I'm laying out the flower petals. I'm going to take this little nugget, place it in the center to connect the petals and also act like the flower center. I have three different glass combinations here. A pink and white mix, a solid orange, and an orange and yellow mix. The flowers are fused to a tack fuse temperature, so I retain the texture and the definition of the flower petals. Now to put it all together. I'm going to trace a tinge circle on a piece of fiber paper. I'm using this cardboard as a guide. Then I'm going to build my design inside this pencil line to ensure that the slumped project fits in the desired mold. The green leaves act as a base and kind of a platform for the flowers. Now I'm going to add the flowers and I kind of turn them different directions so that I get these nice petals each coming out to that pencil line to ensure they have a nice rim shape all the way around the finished bowl. I love this kind of construction where you take a bunch of smaller pieces and use them in combination to make something larger and more intricate. The flowers and the petals were fired again to attack fuse temperature. Now I'm gonna place the assembled project inside a slumping mold, and we're gonna heat it to a slumping temperature to give it a nice curve. And look how beautiful this is. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this beautiful flower plate. You can learn how to make this project and a bunch of others in my video, Fun and Fanciful Fusing. Until next time, happy fusing.